there are a lot of things I love about the Church of the Larger Fellowship, but one of my very most favorite is that every year, new learning fellows join us with all that they know and all that they're curious about. And they bring all of that into the Church of the Larger Fellowship. They bring curiosity about how to do congregational life differently than they have before. They bring knowledge from other congregations, from other professions they had before seminary, from their own wisdom about being human beings. And every year, we have this new learning opportunity, all of us, with one another. Every week, we share time in theological reflection, either one-to-one -one or in a small group, thinking about where ministry lives and where it doesn't and what we need to do and learn and be. I have learned at least as much from learning fellows as they have learned from me. Each one I have welcomed joyfully and said goodbye to sorrowfully and thought, how will we go on? And then the next year, another amazing cadre of learning fellows appears. It's like a miracle. It's like loaves and fishes. It's a lesson in abundance. It's a lesson in generosity, curiosity. I hope you will support this leadership development pipeline, this learning incubator, this congregation which is constantly evolving and developing new leaders. Hi, I'm Reverend Jordan Nelson Long and I am delighted to be serving our congregation in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Hello, I'm the Reverend Elizabeth Buki. I am the minister at First Church in Jamaica Plain Unitarian Universalist. Hi, my name is Susan McGinn, and I am a Navy chaplain. I'm currently serving with the Marine Corps in San Diego. But before I got there, I was a CLF fellow for pastoral care and congregational life. And I was a CLF learning fellow, I believe it was 2014 to 2015. And while I was in search and discerning what I was gonna do next in ministry, I got to spend a year working with CLF and it was just a fantastic way for me to transition back into active ministry as I was you know, wondering what was gonna happen and just sharpen my skills and um, just get some wonderful mentoring and support and, uh, and, and some skills that I didn't have before in congregational leadership. I have been thinking this year, my second year, with my congregation about the gifts that I brought as a technologically competent and worldwide connected minister. I serve a congregation that has a cathedral in a historic setting in Massachusetts. And yet my congregation is vibrant and connected not only to neighboring congregations, but to practices that are at the cutting edge of ministry right now. And so much of that is because of what I learned and what we are now learning together from the Church of the Larger Fellowship. I really appreciate my learning and my time at CLF, not just because of what I learned about technology and social media engagement, but also what I, the mentoring that I got, the community that I built with other learning fellows, and what I learned about um, the importance of vulnerability and owning your own story in preaching and in ministerial leadership. And that's something that I really try to carry with me into my ministry now. Thank you, CLF, for the ministry that you do. I am so proud to be continuing to write that story in our brick and mortar congregations. So thank you so much, CLF, for that and all of your other ways that you uh, bring Unitarian Universalism out into the world. So um, I'm now with the Marines. In a few months, I'm gonna be in a deployable unit uh, with the Navy. I'm gonna be out on ships and uh, doing ministry out in the middle of the ocean. Thank you, CLF. Thank you so much. Blessings.